So, in the fertility stakes, Mark, where does Australia rate? Well, the birth rate in Australia is going down, but in fertility, we also know that there's more of an issue. Um, you know, as time goes on, people are having more trouble conceiving. And they say that one in six people, one in six couples in Australia have issues with fertility. About one in three cases of infertility are due to the male and factors with their sperm. Are there particular things, in your view, that contribute to poor sperm health? Physical trauma to the testicles, so people riding mountain bikes, trail bikes, rodeo riders classically um, have you know, poor sperm health. Mm -hmm. um, heat is a factor, so hot baths or saunas can actually reduce sperm health and, and sperm motility. Mm -hmm. And then there's metabolic stress, which is due to bad diets and, and just being unhealthy. That has a big impact on, on sperm health and sperm production. IVF is an option, an expensive option for couples trying to conceive. Are there any natural options that people can look at? Of course. Um, you know, IVF is a, it's almost like surgery. It's a, sort of a last resort. Um, and really, you, know, you need to start with just being really healthy. Mm -hmm. and, and being healthy is simple. You, know, you need you know, clean water, good food, fresh air, you know, physical activity, you know, a healthy environment and people to love. I mean, that's, that's the simple equation for being well. And what about a supplement, Mark? Well, there is. Um, I mean, the main one is ubiquinol, which is a, the reduced form or the active form of CoQ10. And that's an energy molecule. So ubiquinol is ubiquitous in the body. That's why it's got its name. It's actually everywhere in every cell that needs energy. But it's also a very powerful lipid-soluble antioxidant. So it helps the membranes in your body um, guard against outside attack from free radical damage. In male fertility in particular, Mark, what role does ubiquinol play in supporting sperm health? Well, ubiquinol supports sperm health by protecting the sperm from damage, so it helps preserve the, sh the right shape, the morphology of the sperm. It also helps with sperm motility by giving energy to the sperm to keep you know, swimming and travelling where they need to go. And it can also help with sperm production by enhancing general health and, and giving a, you know, a higher sperm count. There are many reasons for male infertility. So if, if men are worried about their sperm health, it's really important they see a practitioner and get their, their sperm assessed and you know, their general health reviewed. Certainly the, the male has a very important role. Producing children is, is our purpose in life and it's the purpose of our body. So it requires you know, our bodies to be in the healthiest um, state they can be to actually have healthy offspring been great information, Mark. Thanks for the chat. And let's start all the positivity with a cup of tea. Yeah, nice herbal tea. Herbal tea. Thank you, Gerald.